Hey guys, Devon Wolf from Mystical Drumming, mysticaldrumming.com. Alright, so we are talking now about how to do different permutations of the paradiddle or the diddle of the paradiddle. What we're doing is we're moving the diddle from um, the end of the four strokes where it normally would be, let's say, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right to inverting it, where it would be left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, or a middle do, as I call it. <clears throat> I like the way it sounds and it makes me play it, okay? So I call things what I want, I don't care what other people call them. Left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right. And then we were showing you in a previous video, which please do watch that, and the um, single power diddles and how to hold your sticks and how to properly do stroking with your stick and stuff like that. So when you come into this, you're uh, prepared and uh, it'll help you a lot more. That's what we want to have happen. All right, so um, when we're thinking of these permutations of the paradiddle, uh, they can be done not just on the snare drum or pad, um, but on the kit. Right? So if we do, let's say, um, an inverted power diddle um, on our floor tom, and let's say with our right hand, and uh, keeping the sticking on the left hand, um, so let's say it was right, right, put it down a little bit, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, so right, right, left. Or the other way around. And faster, faster. Okay. Um, keeping it on two toms. Let's say uh, high tom, high tom, second tom. So uh, maybe a middle diddle. So right, left, left, right, left. Playing it with the snare drum, um, let's say um, back to the middle diddle. Okay, so right, left, left, right, playing off the high tom, then high tom to follow the cycles would be your two and or your two and three and, depending on how you're counting these as either one and two and or one e and. Okay, assuming you're not doing it as chord notes, one, two, three, four, which you could as well. And, Let's just say that we're uh, we're playing them as sixteenth uh, notes. Okay, so then to finish it, your you would then do left, right, left, left. So right, left, 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 right, right, left. Okay, so um, what about using rims? I'm a big advocate of using rims. Uh, and if you have an acoustic kit, you're going to have a click. With an electronic drum kit, what we can do, if we so choose, is make it where it's click, but we hit it a little harder, which I like, and there's a click in it as well as a tom sound. So, regular, regular, and we go click to. There is a. Uh, click with the tom, which is, I think, very cool. Okay, yeah. um, okay so if we use, let's say, a regular paradiddle, okay, and we're using the rim, uh, let's, let's do an inverted paradiddle. So if we were to do the diddle, let's say right hand lead on the tom, right, right, and we go left, right on the, on the uh, rim, then left, left, right, left, so right, right. Um, if we were to keep the, if I can, play it light enough, doing the, um, let's say, um, a regular paradiddle, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, where it's done with the clicking sound, where you acoustic drum guys, um, you'll have that click sound, so right, left. It'll do hard. Okay. Um. 
Um, what about if we use the bass drum as a diddle? In a middle diddle, let's say. So what about um, using a bass drum as a diddle in the middle? Right, bass, bass, right, left, bass, bass, left. Uh, or you can go right, bass, bass, left, right, bass, wait, I'm sorry, right, bass, bass, left. You know what? Don't do that. Uh, keep it right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, because your hand, your, your stroke is going to get mixed up. Okay, so it'll be right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left. But the left and the right is actually your bass, okay, so you're not using your hand. So it's really right, bass, bass, right, left, bass, bass, left. Or an inverted power diddle. Uh, or using the tom, your middle, your second tom. These, this is a three tom kit. Um, I kind of advocate uh, keeping kits smaller. Um, so from this is built from martial arts, uh, my system. Uh, so less movement is better. Uh, so we want to create maximum velocity. Great dynamics from being able to stay loose. Once we're lifting and moving around, there's generally going to be tension in our bodies. Okay. So um, if we did, um, let's say, uh, uh, regular power pedal, right, left, bass, bass, left, right, bass, bass. The diddle becomes the bass. Well, what about a hi-hat, right? What if we did a hi-hat as an inverted diddle? So diddle. could be the sound as well, which is very cool, right? Um, what about using something like that, a splash, okay? So, uh, right, left, 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 right, right, left, okay? Or a cop, left, right, right, left, right, sorry, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right? Um, whatever, that kind of thing. Uh, what about on your right symbol, um, an inverted diddle? Right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left. How about high from going from hi hat to cymbal, mixing up that way? So let's say regular power diddle. What about using it as a fill, right? So, obviously there's an infinite amount of permutations. Um, you can double them and double and double them. You can go that fast and only going faster is just a matter of practicing, burning my muscle memory, and making it happen more. Okay, so, um, yeah, that's about all I want to share with that. So, uh, yeah, uh, just uh, keep practicing that and uh, take the different permutations of the diddles and move around your kit, also with your pedals, your double pedal, if you have a double bass pedal. Uh, your hi hat pedal. Um, well, actually, one more thing I should want to show you that's actually kind of cool too. Let's say a regular power diddle. So if you went uh, right, left, with the diddles being your feet, but your left foot on the hi hat. So right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right. So the bass hi hat, hi hat, bass sound. Um, kind of mixing that up would also be a very cool fill or. Uh, you may make it a groove. You know, fills can be made grooves if you put it, you know, in, in alignment with time quavers and uh, it lands on a downbeat. It could all be done that way, right? Yeah. Okay, so um, that's it. We really appreciate you guys watching and uh, we'll see you next video. Thanks.